I know you have felt overwhelmed by the number of GitHub issues piling up in your project and this video is going to solve this problem. There are so many bug reports or feature requests and you don't understand which one to prioritize first. And this is a very genuine problem because we get a lot of issues and queries on day to day basis and it and a lot of important issues gets buried in the noise and we don't focus upon them. Not just that, it also wastes a lot of valuable time of the engineering team who takes the time to prioritize these issues instead of solving these problems. And this problem is very personal to me and I have faced this multiple times because we do get a lot of feature requests, a lot of bug reports and we spend a lot of time scrolling endlessly to find out which is the issue that is important and we don't miss something that's urgent. Hi everyone, this is Arish Kohl and in this video I'm going to discuss about a special AI agent template by Postman in which you can prioritize your GitHub issues. This AI powered agent would review your issues, would analyze the urgency and sentiment and will deliver the clear summaries directly into your Slack channel. And I am going to demo around how this will solve your problem and also a step-by-step -step tutorial on how can you set this agent by Postman in your projects. Now, I think this problem is solved with this AI agent. There are many more AI agent templates by Postman. I'll give the link in the description. You can go and check it out. Multiple different domains of engineering, be it DevOps or software engineering, you will find these templates very, very useful. Before we start, thanks to Postman for sponsoring this content. So now we are seeing this GitHub issue prioritization agent template by Postman and you can read about this from this specific page where they've given an overview overview they have talked about the important integrations with github and slack and how you will how are you going to set up this template so we'll just follow these steps and see how can we set up this template together and you can understand it well the first thing is you need to set up your slack as well as your github so for setting up your slack you need to go on to your slack developer hub that is api.slack.com slash apps where you, where you need to create a new slack app you can uh, create a new uh, uh, app from scratch. Maybe you can give any name like GitHub issue prioritization or anything else also. You can select a workspace. So for me, it's my arshgoel at the gmail.com workspace. So here, once you do that, you will get your app credentials, a client secret, a signing secret, a verification token and a client ID. So here you need to give some permissions to your app, right? You need to go to auth and permissions. Once you go to auth and permissions, here you need to uh, add the auth scope, both token scopes and user token scopes so, so that your uh, app your, can read and write within the Slack group. So you can just give in these uh, uh, permissions like a chat, write, public, chat, write and uh, uh, so majorly these are the two functions but if at all there are some more permissions that you need to give you can give those as well right so you can just uh, give these permissions chat right here so these are the permissions that you need to set up once this is set up you need to install this app you can install this app to your workspace any of your slack workspace that you want to configure to once this is installed you will have a uh, an app here right so for example this is the app that you'll see here github prioritization postman so once you configure your slack you'll get these two things slack vote token and slack user id so you need these two things that will help us configure our postman uh, template then you can con configure a slash command such as git summary to read and write in your slack group so this is something that will uh, select once we have a special token that will get from our postman uh, account so you need to set up github then so this is the github account where you need to go to settings settings from the right corner after that you need to select developer settings and within those developer settings you will get personalized personal access tokens you need to click on tokens classic and you need to create a new token so this is the new token you can uh, give any name to this token and you just need to copy paste that token so these are the three things that we require for slack and github uh, authorization and once you have this up, right, so you need to open the link in the description that will open up the GitHub issue prioritization agent. There are so many other agents also. You can see custom ticket triage agent or industry news updates agent, LLM evaluation agent, trip planner agent. But we are going to see the use case of GitHub issue prioritization agent. So you just need to click on it and click on these three dots and click on clone. Once you click on clone, it would be cloned to your new workspace. So this is the cloned version of uh, uh, the GitHub issue, the template that we'll be configuring. So you can see this template, we have a request, then it is going to fetch the URL uh, and it's going to evaluate. Then it is connected to uh, certain other templates for body, for issue URL, and like for different status codes, it is configured. There's an AI agent that is uh, that has a specific prompt for 
for us to do what what exactly we want in our prioritization and this is how the result would look like so this is how the template looks like and within this template we need to configure so how we'll be configuring this is a settings option we need to click on settings and there are three things that we need to configure what three things first is our github uh, personal access token right that we'll get in the github developer settings second is slack boat authorization token so this is the second thing that we'll get from our slack and the third thing is slack user id this is again what we'll get from our slack so these three three things once you configure uh, these three things then you need to click on deploy here once you once your app is deployed right so as soon as your app is deployed you will get something known as an access link you click on deploy so this is the action url that you'll get and you just need to copy paste this action url and set up a slash command in your slack so this is a slack app that we were configuring and you need to click on slash commands you need to click on create a new command give your request url here uh, the one that we copied from our github issue prioritization this this url you just copied just put your request url here command you can give any command for example i give here as git summary and you can just give any small description github prioritization issue usage hint if you want to give so this is the command that will configure it for our slack and now we'll see how this actually runs so now this is my workspace and for example i want to get a summary of a specific github issue for example i'll just open my github and within that github i just created a sample uh, issue just to test something like this for example there's a smart shop e-commerce platform so within that there are three issues i'll just give any one issue so this is the critical database connection pool exhausted issue so i'll just copy paste the link of this issue i'll i'll then go to my slack and i'll just put in slash git summary and i'll uh, type in the issue link or the issue url and you just need to click enter once you click enter you can see it's working on it i'll respond here soon and the issue link Let's wait for some time and see uh, what exactly it gives us. As you can see, it gives a summary of our original issue, a critical production incident where a Postgres SQL connection pool was saturating during a peak traffic causing 15 to 20 minutes outages. Uh, what's the emotional tone of this issue? It is, is it urgent, high stress? Yes, it's urgent, high stress. And uh, workflow description, it is telling us the entire workflow description mentioned competitors if there were some workarounds that were shared and proposed solution and implementations. And this is the result that we are getting for our github issue summary so, so in this way you can make more such slack commands and can automate your github prioritization so this specific template automatically analyzes for upvotes for reactions for comments and help you prioritize your github issues using their template so this is something that you can set up in this way if you need any help let me in the comments below i'll be more than happy to answer now this was one template there are many more templates by postman that you can see on their page you can try out other templates as well and if you want me to create videos on those let me know in the comments below and that was all for this particular video i'll come up with another video soon in our ai agent series this was a part of the ai agent series and this series has been continuing you can also watch many more videos where i have built these ai agents and you can build them on your own if you have any doubts if you have any confusions let me know in the comments below and i'll be more than happy to answer thank you so much all the best good luck and bye